today's Two Minute Tuesday. So this month we're talking all about GI health. Uh, we've talked a lot about GI health in the past, uh, so we decided to dedicate a whole month towards it. Uh, so this week we're talking about specifically skin health and how it relates to GI health. Uh, you may be thinking, how in the heck is my guts related to my skin? Uh, but they're very linked, um, and we'll, we'll dive into a little bit about why. Uh, this could be a couple hour uh, video, um, so we're just gonna hit on some of the kind of the, the main points. As you guys know, the gut is related to our immune system and inflammation very, very significantly. 70% um, of the immune system is in the gut, like we've talked about in the past, um, and inflammation is also very related to the gut. Um, so some really common um, skin conditions like eczema, um, even skin cancers, psoriasis, um, dandruff, all those kind of things um, are very related to the gut in a lot of different ways. Um, so let's dive into eczema specifically. This one is very uh, personal to me because I've, I've dealt with a lot of eczema in the past, um, so I know I've dove into this um, very um, intentionally. Um, so eczema, the, the scientific name for it is atopic dermatitis. Uh, and so the end of dermatitis, derma meaning the skin, um, and itis meaning inflammation. Anytime you see the word uh, end in itis, that is literally inflammation of whatever body part we're inflammation of the skin is literally what eczema is. Uh, like we talked about, gut is very related to inflammation. So if we control our gut health, we decrease the amount of inflammation, we decrease the amount of um, that inflammatory disease um, or condition, which is eczema, right? Um, our gut health is also very important um, for our overall health and decrease the amount of free radicals in our body. So free radicals are basically things that are going around in our body just causing havoc cells and lots of different organs in our body. Um, so when that happens and we damage cells, um, the cells can kind of get mutated and then when mutated cells reproduce, that's literally what cancer is. Um, so our gut health is related to our overall health, decreasing the amount of free radicals that are in our body and when we do that, we decrease our risk for skin cancer as well. Um, so lots of different conditions and like I said, we could go into, uh, it could be many hours we could dive into this, but that's kind of how it's related to a couple of those um, skin conditions specifically. Um, so making sure that we're controlling our gut, um, we're feeding the gut with things that are very good for it, like probiotics and prebiotics. Probiotics are the bacteria that make up that gut, um, which is just trillions and trillions of little bacteria. Um, so foods, putting food into our body that helps feed the probiotic. Um, and then the prebiotic is what those probiotics, the little bacteria in our gut actually eat. Um, so prebiotics is what so making sure that we're getting enough fiber in our diet. Um, the recommendations are 25 grams for girls, three for guys. Um, personally, I think it should be higher, um, significantly higher, closer to 50 grams um, for girls and guys. That's because um, our gut bacteria have much more food to eat. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I love eating and I know our bacteria does too. Um, so increasing the amount of fiber and um, probiotics is very important. Um, and then decreasing the amount of stress that we have in our body more stress we add to our body, biochemical, mental, emotional, and physical stress, um, all is related to gut inflammation um, and all of those conditions as well. Um, so we started the video not knowing um, how the heck skin and inflammation can be, our gut health can be related, um, but now you guys know. Um, so when you guys come in, uh, feel free to ask questions, anybody in the office, we'd love to be able to help point you in the right directions as far as supplements or anything like that goes. Um, so that's this week's Two Minute Tuesday.